question 156 the two lobes of thyroid gland are interconnected by a thin flap of connective tissue called choose the option which fills the blank correctly ampulla infundibulum isthmus interstitial tissue the two wings or lobes of thyroid that is right lobe and left lobe of thyroid are located on either sides of windpipe and they are joined together by a bridge of tissue called isthmus. So the correct answer here would be option number 3 isthmus whereas ampulla and infundibulum are parts of female reproductive tract whereas interstitial tissue is the term used for loose connective tissue present between cells or group of cells or follicles the correct answer is option 3 isthmus question 157 the biological clock in higher vertebrates is regulated by secretions of pituitary gland cerebral cortex hypothalamus adrenal medulla the biological clock or the sleep wake cycle is regulated by melatonin and melatonin is secreted by pineal gland but the secretion of melatonin is regulated by hypothalamus in hypothalamus a nucleus is present termed as suprachiasmatic nucleus And in this nucleus, a rhythm generating system is present, which in turn regulates the secretion of melatonin from pineal gland. So the correct answer here would be option number 3, hypothalamus. Answer is 3. Pituitary gland, cerebral cortex and adrenal medulla have no direct correlation for the secretion of melatonin. The correct answer is option number 3. Question 158. The pair of hormones which have an antagonistic effect with respect to each other are oxytocin glucocorticoids, parathormone insulin, parathormone thyrocalcitonin, aldosterone oxytocin. Let's analyze the options. Oxytocin and glucocorticoids, the functions are entirely different and they are not opposite to each other. Option number two, parathormone is linked to calcium and phosphate metabolism, whereas insulin is related to glucose utilization. Let's look at option three, parathormone and thyrocalcitonin. Parathormone is released in response to a lowered calcium levels in the body and the main function is to restore the calcium levels by increasing its levels in the body when it's less. Whereas thyrocalcitonin have an opposite effect with respect to regulation of calcium ions. It decreases the blood calcium levels. Thus we can see that these two hormones are antagonistic in nature. The correct answer is option 3. And lastly aldosterone and oxytocin their functions are different and they are not antagonistic in nature. Right answer is Question 159. Dash hormone causes dilation of blood vessels, increased oxygen consumption and glycogenolysis in skeletal muscles. Choose the option which fills the blank correctly. Adrenaline, glucagon, ACTH, insulin. Let's look at the options one by one. Option number one, adrenaline. With respect to dilation of blood vessels, yes, it will bring about dilation of blood vessels to redirect blood towards skeletal and cardiac muscle and this would be essential to deal with flight or fight situations increased oxygen consumption that is also correct it will also increase oxygen consumption and glycogenolysis to increase the level of glucose in blood that is also true so adrenaline is the right option here glucagon would increase the blood glucose level but it has no role in dilation of blood vessels whereas ACTH released by pituitary would regulate the release of cortical hormones from adrenal cortex and these corticoids increase the blood glucose level and regulate water and electrolyte balance but would not dilate blood vessels 
and lastly glucose will also not dilate and option number 4 insulin would also not result in dilation of blood vessels the correct answer is option number 1 adrenaline question 160 destruction of beta cells of pancreas may result in hypocalcemia hypoglycemia hypercalcemia hyperglycemia the beta cells of pancreas they secrete insulin and insulin increases glucose utilization within the cells so in the absence of beta cells means when they are destroyed the insulin levels would decrease so when there is deficiency of insulin the glucose utilization would also go down and this would result in more glucose in the blood which would cause hyperglycemia so the right answer is option number 4 hyperglycemia whereas hypocalcemia and hypercalcemia the, the calcium metabolism is not linked to insulin and hypoglycemia would be incorrect answer is 4